Uh, so gang, let's do a comic book haul. Let's do a comic book haul. We got the okay from Cheryl, and uh, I got the page lined up here. Okay, so nineteen items, I believe. Total uh, price for this was two hundred and sixty dollars Canadian, about fifteen dollars of that in taxes. Okay, and there's sort of batches of things. So I'm going to show you one of the batches here. Okay, let me bring this up. Let me bring this up. So, UK people, you're going to love this. You're going to love this. Okay. So, I ended up buying. Check this out. Oh, I got to put this one on the side. Uh, okay, preview. Mighty, mighty. Okay, put this on the side. So, in the UK, Marvel Comics was releasing some some of the reprints of comic books that they were doing uh, through something called something called the mighty world of Marvel right five pence is that what it is five pence it cost right so these were reprints of Marvel comics that came up before right that they released in the United States and Canada Baked Lotus on Rumble. What's up, Chicho? Would you be interested in doing a stream on Maxwell's equations? Oh, Maxwell's equations. I would have to seriously look that up. I, 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 there's 20, but they've reduced them down to like four or five. And based on, uh, man, there was a Tom Bearden, I think. I was following a while ago, a long time ago. Based on Tom Bearden's work, I think it was Bearden. Uh, he mentioned... That it's an abomination that they took those 20 equations and reduced them down to four or five. And that's what they teach at university because the main gist of it is lost because everything's frequency. So that's going by the top of my head, right? By memory. So check this out. I ended up buying these. Okay. I ended up buying all of these. Each one. Okay. Four. Da -da 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 -da. Let me bring it up. Uh, two dollars Canadian, two dollars Canadian, two dollars Canadian. Uh, da, 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 da. Two dollars Canadian, two dollars Canadian. Uh, they were all two dollars Canadian, okay? Because all of these have a slight chunk. Uh, like here, let me find it. Let me see if I can find it. This is number. Oh, it doesn't have the number. I gotta bring up the page. Batman doesn't celebrate Mother's Day not anymore. <laughs> Batman. Uh, this is Britain. I have loads of Marvel UK uh, comics from the 1970s. I'm mainly a Hulk collector, and loads of them had Hulk in them. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is this is some of them. So, for example, this one is this one issue is the Mighty World of Marvel Comics number six, 1972. Okay, and end up paying two dollars for it, right? So take a look, take a look, right? So check this out, and let me see if I can find the cutout part of it. Let me find that here. So these were dirt cheap, beautiful, right? So check, take a look at this. So again, Hulk, right? One of these I'll show you. This might have the Hulk. So it's all black and white and tone, right? Green toned. Oh no, look at this. It's got some color. It's got some color, right? Where's the part where they cut something out here? Let's see. Oh, here's one. Take a look. <laughs> Someone cut off. But here's a kicker with this. This thing really got me going, oh wow, super cool. Like, I've cut things out when I was a kid from comic books and whatnot, magazines, right? But when I cut them out, I go through the pages, right? But check this out. This person cut out, right, the arms of Spider-Man, but they must have done it, like, with an exacto knife, like, so clean, right? So clean. Okay. So I found this crazy cool that someone took the time to do that. But, of course... It cut out some of the story of Spider-Man on this one, right? But super cool. And they cut out something up here, a head or something. What was it? Oh, yeah. It's Fantastic Four, 
Mr. Fantastic's head got cut out. Okay. Another part. Oh, this one they went through. Oh, no, this one just ripped. So they cut something out of here, right? So there's some of the pages here that are cut out. There's one that has like the Hulk perfectly cut out. And it's a really good cut out of the Hulk. Okay. So I found this cool. And for two bucks a pop, fantastic. But like, can't mess with it. Right? So we ended up getting... The two dollars Canadian, by the way. We ended up getting Mighty World of Comics number six. We got da, 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 da. where's the rest? Uh, Mighty World of Comics number eight. Okay, number eight. Okay. Oh no, this is sorry. This one is number three. This one's number three. Okay, let me bring it out here. I got the page open so I can't see what I'm doing. Number three. Okay. And then we got number eight. Right? Number eight. Okay. Cool. All right. Very cool. And then we got number five, I think. I think this is number five. Let me check this out. Yeah, this is number five. Okay, and I think this is the one that had the Hulk cut out perfectly. Let me see if this is the one. I'm just flipping through the pages. No, it's... No, it's, this isn't the one. One of the other ones has it. Okay, so super cool. Super cool. Okay. Check out this one. This is the mighty world of comics. And they were they weren't all the same size, which is really Oh no, these were the other one isn't. That's right, that's right. So this one again is the mighty world of comics. This one, let me check this out. This one de -de 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 Din, din. this one this one is which one is this one yeah this one is number four and it's got the story of spider-man amazing spider-man number one in there and that's a clean uh copy nothing's been cut out of that right and again this was just two dollars i paid for this and it's the first uk and by the way it's the first uk printed uh reprint i guess of the american comic first time amazing spider-man number one appeared in the uk okay and it was in this format uh in this issue which is super cool which is super cool okay and then we got uh this one was check this out this one is spider-man uh comics weekly okay this one Again, it was two dollars, but it, nothing was cut out of this. This was graded good, very good. Two dollars Canadian, so whatever dollar, dollar fifty US, right? So very happy to have this. Okay, very cool, very cool. And then check out this one, another UK magazine. Okay, this one is. Let me bring it up. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? There it is. Captain Britain number three. Jim Stranko. Right? In fine copy. So this is not a reprint. This is Captain Britain. The series that they were uh, publishing in the UK. Okay, issue number three. So it should be the third appearance of Cap Captain Britain. Maybe maybe okay maybe not i'm not sure this one i paid more for this one ended up costing um 12.50 canadian okay so 9.50 us or something let's check this out right super cool 10 pence doesn't have the 
same ring to it as Captain America. <laughs> and Captain Britain looked uh, looked different. In Excalibur, Captain Britain was awesome. I liked it. Check this out. Wow, this is a newsprint, so I don't want to do full color. Very cool. Captain Britain. Here he is with his mask off. Very cool, very cool. Very nice. Very nice. And this was a pretty good deal. What I ended up getting, right? There's some black and white. Okay. And then the thing amok. Mm. Looks like this is a reprint of something from the thing that was published in 1971, I believe. Okay. And the date on this is. Check this out, and it should be 1976, but okay, it's not in the back. Oh, look at this the advertisements. Oh, look at that. This is uh, Stalenko, Jim Stalenko, for sure. It would have to be, right? Stalenko, it looks like it. His artwork, I hope I'm not wrong. Let's see, beautiful. Yeah, Jim Steranko, check this out. You can tell his artwork, right? You can tell his artwork. Fantastic, fantastic, right? Really good. Happy to have this. I don't have any of these Captain Burns. This would be the first copy I have, okay? And this was uh, the date on this. The date on all the other ones was, uh, the date on this was 1976. The date of all the other ones was um, 1972. Okay, 1972, uh, so far. Now, so this was one of the more expensive ones. Now, comic books, comic books, American comic books. Let me tell you what we got here. Let me tell you what we got here. Okay. We got. Let's see. We'll go through these ones first. So this is all. Tales of Suspense. Right? Tales of Suspense, which was sort of a, um, a different stories, you know, the Hulk, Iron Man, and Captain America. Okay, stuff like that. So this one is Tales of Suspense number 86. Let me see, 86, 86. What do we end up paying for this? 86, 86, 86, 86, 86. Where are you? 86, 86. There it is. Uh, we ended up paying $4.08 for this. Okay. And it's Kirby. Kirby art, right? Tonic blurs, greetings, greetings. Four dollars, basically Canadian, which is like three dollars, US, right? Three twenty-five US. Great deal. Less than anything new, and it's graded at good, very good. All of these, I think, are graded at good, very good. Uh, yeah, good, very good. Okay. Actually, no. There might be things that are graded higher. This one is Tales of Suspense 96. Okay, ended up paying 425 for this. To be reborn, right? They're, they're all in like laminate bagging. I got them and the guy gave it to me and uh, not laminate, uh, mylar bagging as well. So, Tales of Suspense. Fantastic, fantastic. We got, we got, we got, we got. We got Tales of Suspense number 88 for four dollars and eighteen cents. Right? Great deal. Power Man, 
the swordsman. What does that say? Power man, the swordsman. And madly menacing mystery villain. And a uh, madly menacing mystery villain. Fantastic. And then, and then we got, we got, and that was good, very good as well. And then we got Tales of Suspense 94. Good, very good. We ended up paying. This one was expensive uh, because it's the first appearance of Modoc. We ended up paying 24.50 for this. Okay. And you can see him on the cover back there, right there. Check it out. See him? Right there. That guy. First appearance, right? Super good. Twenty four fifty, graded at uh, da, 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 da. what was it graded at? Good, very good, I believe. Good, very good. Uh, good price. Good price. Okay. Good price. Very nice. If this be Modok. Modok. He's actually crazy smart, in the movie whatever movie it was they showed him they showed him to be a dingling which was stupid beyond belief like this guy's actually a genius enough vet how are you doing how are you doing hope you're doing well so 24.50 pretty good price pretty good price okay and then we got tables of suspense where are we? 87, good, very good. We paid $4.11. Okay. $4.11. Like, wow. What? Have you ever thought about giving gifts to children? Go to a birthday party, family, kids, whatever, or friends, kids, birthday party. They invite you. You're like, oh, man, damn, I got to go to a kid birthday party. Get on eBay, buy some of the stuff, give it to them. If the parents don't like it, too bad. Tell them not to invite you to the birthday kid's birthday party again. <laughs> Country asparagus, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. First time, Chad. Boop. And how is how is Chad how, how is Chad doing? He says or she says. Can we talk about sensitive? We can after the comic book call. After the comic book call, right? Because I don't want to inter interrupt the comic book call. Uh, uh, he is in his power. And all the God, Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah, that's what it was. Ant Man and the Wasp, man. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> he is in his passion, yeah. Country Asparagus, uh, you are a nerd, Chicho. I admire that. Thanks. <laughs> but I'm not a bad nerd. I'm a good nerd, right? I'm not those psychopath nerds. And this is Tales of Suspense 91. Graded good, very good. Got it for three twenty-five Canadian. <laughs> like, like these are great prices. Seriously, as far as I'm, I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, right? It's like two fifty US. Good price. Good price. Very nice. Very nice. Happy to have these. Happy to have these. Now, a couple of comics which were uh, more expensive, not from this uh, series right one of them is this was a great price great price the spirit number two will eisner first kitchen sink 1973 underground graded at very fine paid four dollars and 96 cents will eisner number two graded at very fine that's a high grade from 1972 the spirit number two fantastic look at this look at this let me take this off let's get the glare out this is will eisner show some respect show some respect show it in this true glory without the glare i gotta take these tapes off so they don't get smacked <laughs> let's show you this yeah cheryl awesome will eisner is amazing gang if you've never read Will Eisner, read Will Eisner. Look at this. Right? Beautiful. Let me show it to you. Let's see if we can 
get it all focused. Nice. Will Eisner, the spirit number two. An amazing price as well. Like so much going on, right? So much going on. Like look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. Elder God, awesome, yeah. Pure awesome, pure awesome. Great investment, great investment. Uh, I might try to get my hands on more of these beautiful just beautiful like wow 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 <laughs> oh yeah let me show you the splash page the deuces lock it Crunchy asparagus, oh my god, it's original, not even colored. Is it? No, this is original, yeah, 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 100%. 100%. Very nice. And here's the back copy. Let's check this out. Here's the back copy. Let's read that text, right? Shortly after. The close of the 40s publication of the spirit ceased uh, temporarily. There were at that time a few spirit scripts unfinished on Will Eisner's shelf. In this issue, we print one, a Pigel story written in 1950, but never actually completed until now. Very nice. Very nice awesome awesome very happy to have this very happy to have this we've read some will eisner by the way in our comic book readings we read uh what was it i don't think i have it down here but if you do chicho will eisner uh you'll find the reading of will eisner's comic that we did uh, no, it's not down here. It's on another bookshelf. On another bookshelf. Uh, this is uh, this is it the actual book or is it just resell? Uh, no, this is they come out like this is uh, the Spirit Number Two from 1972. Like it's a series. Like it's the original that came out in 1972. Right. Right. And this I bought from a comic book store right local comic book store that had the stuff on auction so i wouldn't picked it up i'm mainly just buying from this person right now okay and then a 